wasn't planning on making a video today. I'm sick. I've been like this for the past three days, maybe even four. My throat hurts really bad and just... I can't sing. I don't feel energetic enough to create an entertaining video. But I'm absolutely enraged at everything that's been going on for the last two days or so online. And I'm not your source if you want to know what happened. That's not what I'm here for. And I really don't want it to gain any more exposure and any more popularity than it already has because it doesn't deserve it. What I am here for is to say that suicide is not a joke. It's not something that you can laugh about and expect everybody to just completely ignore or pass off as some silly joke or whatever. I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty speechless about everything because I know how it feels. It feels like every single speck of hope that you had in your life is completely gone. It feels like there is absolutely nothing left to live for. That the whole world hates you and your guts. That you're completely useless. You're helpless in the situation. You feel like everything is getting more and more dark and painful every single day. No, every single minute of your life. And sometimes it does. But the way you feel helpless there, in this situation, is how helpless the people that love you feel after you commit suicide. You may not believe me if I say that, but there are people out there who love you, care about you, even if you feel like they completely left you and abandoned you, it's not entirely true. If you died, they'd feel terrible too, they'd be miserable and just, you, you have so much to contribute to this world. Even if you don't feel like it, even if you feel like you're completely useless and everyone's better off without you, that's not true. You've got a lot in you. Even if you feel like you have absolutely no talent or skill, you still have ideas. You still have explanations. You still have reasons. You still have opinions that matter just as much as the next guy or girl. And I just, it pains me, it pains me to think about people that were given life, that were just, were just born and grew up here and decide to completely throw it away, whatever the reason is. Just people that are still functioning and can do and achieve incredible things that just decide to throw it all away. I want to help you. One of my good friends thought about committing suicide. And that was recently. A few of my good friends were contemplating the idea. Some actually tried to do it in the last five years or so. And I just... I felt so helpless in the situation. I tried to call each and every one of their friends to see what we can do about this, to try and show support, to be there for them, regardless of whether they wanted to be helped or not. Some of them are living a much better life right now. They started opening up after they thought about it and decided Eventually, that the smarter and better choice for them would be not to. They started opening up. 
They started getting their ideas out there to the world. They tried to make the world a better place. And they're feeling much better now. And I want you to feel better too. Even if I don't know you, even if I don't know who you are, your name, the situation you came from, I want you to feel good. I want you to feel better at least. I don't want you to die. It's going to sound like very corny and very chewed up because everybody says that, that there are people out there that care about you, that you are loved. And even if you don't feel like it's true right now, that doesn't mean that it won't be true forever. Even if you feel like you lost everybody that cares for you right now, that definitely doesn't mean that you won't meet anybody who will care about you and will love you in the future. There are plenty of people like this in the world, and I know you'll find at least one of them. I'm sure of it. And just, it's hard. I know it's incredibly hard to get out of such a mind state. It's hard to get in there too. But once you make the choice, backing out sometimes feels almost impossible. But it's better for you. Trust me that if you stay alive, even if you feel like everything good that's happening to you, all the positive things are temporary and will eventually just collapse and make way to more suffering, the suffering will collapse too and make way for such incredible moments of elation eventually. And I'm sure that's going to happen. But for that, you're going to need to stay strong and keep going. If you don't feel like you can leave for life itself, try to push and strive forward to new horizons. Try to make yourself a better person. Try to show the world what you're all about. Show them that you're incredible. And if you don't feel like you can do that, try to hold on to things that make you happy. It could be friends, family, animals, anything. Just anything that makes you happy is worth living for. And the world has plenty of that to offer. I've retweeted a list of phone numbers. Each one is of a different suicide hotline around the world. If you feel like you need help and you can't trust any of your friends, any of your family members, or just anyone around you, please, please, please reach out to them. They're anonymous, you're anonymous. Tell them your story. They won't judge you. They'll do their best in order to help you stay alive, in order to help you move on and stay strong in order to survive this journey because everybody deserves it. You deserve this chance to go on, keep living life and eventually also enjoy them. I really hope that you're going to be okay as soon as possible. If you have any questions, please list them down in the comments below. I'll do my best, even though I'm, I absolutely am not a professional and have no degree or just anything, um, anything official to say about the matter. I'll do my best in order to answer because I do care. I do want you to be okay. I want you to stay safe. And I just want you to be as happy as you possibly can be. I know it's hard, but I'm sure that it's possible. Even if you don't believe in yourself right now, I believe in you. And I know that you can achieve great things. You just need to keep trying. Don't give up.